Hello everyone, I am Dr. Godhanda Raman. In this section, we are going to discuss with Z transform entire unit formulas. First of all, Z transform definition. If the function f of n is defined for n equal to 0, 1, 2 up to infinity and f of n equal to 0 for n less than 0, then f of 0, f of 1, f of 2 and so on is a sequence denoted by f of n. The z transform of the sequence f of n is defined as z of f of n is equal to z summation n equal to 0 to infinity f of n z power minus n if the series converges. We denote this sum by capital F of z where z is a complex number. This z transform is called one sided z transform. So another definition. If the continuous function f of t is defined for the sampled values t equal to n capital T, n equal to 0, 1, 2 and so on, then the z transform of f of t is defined as z of f of t is equal to summation n equal to 0 to infinity f of n capital T z power minus n. It is also denoted by capital F of z. The important result is a transform z of 1 equal to z by z minus 1 z of minus 1 power n is equal to z by z plus 1, z of n equal to z by z minus 1 whole square, z of n plus 1 equal to z square by z minus 1 whole square, z of n square equal to z into z plus 1 by z minus 1 whole cube, z of a power n is equal to z by z minus a, z of minus a whole power n is equal to z by z plus a, z of a power n minus 1 is equal to 1 by z minus a, z of n into a power n is equal to a z by z minus a whole square, z of n a power n minus 1 is equal to z by z minus a whole square, z of n minus a whole power n minus 1 is equal to z by z plus a whole square, z of n minus 1 into a power n minus 1 is equal to a by z minus a whole square, z of 1 by n is equal to log of z by z minus 1, z of 1 by n plus 1 is equal to minus z log of 1 minus 1 by z. Some more result is a transform. z of 1 by n factorial equal to e power 1 by z, z of 1 divided by n plus 1 factorial equal to z e power 1 by z minus 1, z of a power n by n factorial equal to e power a by z, z of e power a n equal to z by z minus e power a, z of cos n pi by 2 equal to z square by z square plus 1, z of sin n pi by 2 is equal to z by z, plus, z square plus 1, z of a power n cos n pi by 2 is equal to z square by z square plus a square, z of a power n sin n pi by 2 is equal to a z by z square plus a square, z of cos n theta is equal to z into z minus cos theta divided by z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 z of sin n theta equal to minus z sin theta divided by z square minus 2 z cos theta plus 1. Some of the important result inverse is a transform. So the previous result whatever we have discussed the left hand side is a transform it shifted into the right hand side. So uh, whatever z of 1 equal to z by z minus 1. Now when z transform into right hand side z inverse of z by z minus 1 is equal to 1, z inverse of z by z plus 1 is equal to minus 1 power n, z inverse of z by z minus 1 whole square is equal to n, z inverse of z square by z minus 1 whole square equal to n plus 1 z inverse of z z plus 1 by z minus 1 whole cube is equal to n square z inverse of z by z minus a whole power uh, equal to a power n and then z inverse of z by z plus a equal to minus a whole power n z inverse of 1 divided by z minus a equal to a power n minus 1 z inverse of a z divided by z minus a whole square equal to n a power n z inverse of z divided by z minus a whole square is equal to n a power n minus 1 z inverse of z by z plus a whole square is equal to n a minus a whole power n minus 1 z inverse of uh, a by z minus a whole square is equal to n minus 1 a power n minus 1 z inverse of log z by z minus 1 is nothing but 1 by n z inverse of minus z log 1 minus 1 by z equal to 1 by n plus 1 some more uh, important result uh, inverse is a transform. 
uh, z inverse of e power 1 by z equal to 1 by n factorial z inverse of z e power 1 by z minus 1 is nothing but 1 by n plus 1 factorial z inverse of e power a z equal to a power n by 1 factorial z inverse of z by z minus e power a equal to e power a n z inverse of z square divided by z square plus 1 equal to cos n pi by 2 z inverse of z by z square plus 1 equal to sin n pi 2 uh, z inverse of z square by z square plus a square is equal to a power n cos n pi by 2 z inverse of a z by z square plus a square equal to a power n sin n pi by 2 z inverse of z z minus cos theta z square minus 2 z cos theta plus 1 is equal to cos n theta z inverse of minus z sin theta z square minus 2 z cos theta plus 1 equal to sin n theta so entire results so how to get this result we will see next uh, video lecture and then properties of z transform the property is nothing but first property linear property z of a f of n plus b g of n is equal to a z of f of n plus b z of g of n is that f of n is nothing but capital f of z is that g of n is nothing but capital g of z change of scale property z of a power minus n f of n is equal to f capital f of a z z of a power n f of n is equal to f of z by a differentiation in the z domain z of n f of n is equal to minus z d by dz capital f of z then first shifting theorem z of e power minus a t f of t is equal to capital F of z, z tends to z e power a capital T. Then z e power a t f of z is equal to capital F of z, z tends to z e power minus a capital T. And some more properties of z transform. Uh, time shifting property z of f, f of n minus k equal to z power minus k f of z z of f of n plus k equal to z power k f of z minus f of 0 minus f of 1 z minus 1 and so on f of k minus 1 z power minus k minus 1 when k equal to 1 then z of f of n plus 1 is equal to z f of z minus z f of 0 when k equal to 2 z f of n plus 2 equal to z square f of z minus z square f of 0 minus z f of 1 initial value theorem limit n tends to 0 f of n is equal to limit z tends to infinity f of z f of z is nothing but z of f of n final value theorem limit n tends to infinity f of n is equal to limit n z tends to 1 z minus 1 f of z and then partial fraction so now using the partial fraction we use this or the formation we used uh, 1 by z minus a z minus b means when denominator uh, uh, factors are different we are going to split with a by z minus a plus b by z minus b when repeated z minus a z minus a when repeated then a divided by z minus a plus b z minus a whole square when the quadratic form so the factor will not convert in this cases we used a z plus b divided by z square a z plus b this is a quadratic form this quadratic form is not possible to convert into the factor so then we use this formation when the three formation are not repeated we use a by uh, z minus a plus b by z minus b plus c by z minus c when all the threes are repeated this is a formation then when is uh, combined with uh, z minus a and the quadratic form then we should write the form of a by z minus a plus b z plus c divided by z square plus a z plus b so these are the partial fraction formation and then residue theorem when f of n equal to 1 by 2 pi integral over c z power n minus 1 f of z dz now to calculate integral over c z power n minus 1 f of z dz is nothing but so contour integration so Cauchy integral formula 2 pi i into sum of the residue of capital f of z z power n minus 1 then when i cancel 2 pi then it will be coming with f of n equal to sum of the residue of f of z z power n minus 1 how to find the residue the classification of residue simple pole when uh, the roots then we should use this formula and then poles of order m then use this formula so limit z tends to a z minus a f of z z power n minus 1 when the uh, factor simple pole 
and then poles of order m limit z tends to a 1 by m minus 1 factorial d power m minus 1 divided by dz power m minus 1 z minus a whole power n f of z z minus z power n minus 1 so this is our the residue theorem then convolution theorem z inverse of f of z g of z is equal to f of n star g of n is equal to summation r equal to 0 to n f of n g of n minus r and then some of the importance differentiation equation using z transform the difference equation is nothing but z of y of k plus 1 or z of y n plus 1 or z of y suffix n plus 1 whatever given the question we just write the form of z f of z minus z y of 0 and then z of y of k plus 2 equal to z square f of z minus z square y of 0 minus z y of n so z of y of k plus 3 equal to z cube f of z minus z cube y of 0 minus z square y of n minus z y of 2. So these are the basic formulas for solving z transform. Thank you.